Jesse the Body Ventura, bad boy of wrestling, turned governor of Minnesota. Congratulations, Governor. Thank you, sir. Hollywood Hogan, the veteran superstar, says he'll one-up Ventura and run for president. Goldberg, he's the newest superstar wrestler. These are heady times for professional wrestlers. The sports entertainment, as it is called, has never enjoyed such success. They are packing arenas all across North America, and the cable television ratings have skyrocketed. But not everything's perfect outside the ring. Autopsy reports show Eddie Gilbert, dead at 33 from cocaine use. Art Barr, dead at 28 from combined prescription drugs and alcohol. Ryan Pillman, dead at 35 from heart disease after recent cocaine use. And Luis Piccoli, dead at 27 from heart disease after mixing prescription drugs and alcohol. For wrestlers, the road to stardom can be deadly. This is nothing. It's a shame to see people's lives completely ruined by this. Ricky Nelson says he never used drugs, but he saw it all during his years on the wrestling circuit. I mean, I've seen guys drink until they pass out. And it's a big thing. I've seen guys snorting coke to excess when they pass out. The nose just starts pouring blood. You're like, good God, you know, what are you going to wake up and see what you're doing to yourself? We wanted to see how wild it can get on the road. So we went to the hotels wrestlers stayed at after their matches and brought our hidden cameras. It's 3 a.m. And after a few beers, Chris Jericho, a star with World Championship Wrestling, drags ring announcer David Penser around the hotel. He rips off his shirt, but that wasn't the end. A few minutes after these scenes, Penser was stripped naked in the middle of the lobby. We saw a wild world of partying all night, drinking, and an endless supply of groupies. This fan proudly showed the wrestler the tattoo on her derriere. You just like a rock star on TV. Ricky Morton, a popular wrestler from the tag team, the Rock and Roll Express, says many of the wrestlers take advantage of eager fans. Five girls, two guys, five girls, one guy. You know, it's uh, whatever your wildest imagination is. I've been there, I've seen it, and I've done it. Some guys can get pretty out of control. David Meltzer has been writing about wrestling for 17 years. Wrestling in many ways is like a, um, a lot of grown-ups in their 30s who still like live uh, a lifestyle like a carefree high schooler would live, except that they don't have a report due the next day. As wrestling continues to soar in popularity, for a fortunate few, there will be a fortune and there will be fame. But as Ricky Morton, who used to make $10,000 a week, has learned, there's a price to be paid if you let the lifestyle get out of control. I lost the family. I lost my self-respect. I lost, you know, my house. My, even, even had, you know, things that I built up for the future. You know, it's, it's all gone.